so the day has come. Um, this will be the last wash with my Renault again RS 280 cup. Um, and you can probably see by my expression that I'm quite reluctant to let go of this car. You know, this car came to my life in such a special way. And uh, the more I driven it, the more I loved it. I built a relationship with this car. I love the metal box. Uh, I love the way it drives. The, how tight the car can corner, the torsion beam, it's playful, it's confident, and it looks good. You know, I never thought I'd like a color like this, but <laughs> here I am, you know, with this bright tonic orange color, which I think looks equivalent to a supercar color. It just looks fitting into the hatchback, right? I don't think any hatchback can pull off a color like this, except for the Renault Megane RS. And also the, the diffuser design, my, my god, it just looks like a little Lamborghini, right? But it all fits pretty well and I love it. And again, just the way it drives. You know, I can take it to twisty roads, have so much fun and it's super comfortable in my daily ride around. I mean, at least for me, it's a bit on the harsher side, but I can definitely handle it. But all in all, it's been a great daily driver. I've driven close to you know, 5,500 kilometers and five months down the road. I can't see a lot of cars coming close to, you know, what I would prefer to be a daily car. And if I had the finances to keep this car, I would. But unfortunately, I'm picking a new car that's coming into my garage. You know, uh, at first I was thinking to have both, but when I really look at my finances, I thought it wouldn't be very smart to keep both cars. And plus, I've only got you know two hands and two legs, and you know I got a couple of cars in my garage, so I have to sort of keep it minimized. But moreover, I'm somewhat relieved because I'm selling it to somebody who loves the Renault again RS. Absolutely loves it. The first time he saw the car, he was speechless and he was starstruck. And uh, I knew that he was the right owner to this car. Yeah, so there's still so many adventures that I love to do with this car. Uh, I didn't. And uh, I got to say, I'm feeling a little bit emotional because you know, I'm really going to miss this car. And maybe down the road someday, I'm going to maybe pick up a Mark 4 again, but we'll see. We'll see. Right. So, with that, stay tuned to the channel and uh, if you want to find out what car I'm bringing in the future, please hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification so you get an alert when new videos are up. And I uh, will review my car in maybe a couple of months' time. But for now, let's uh, give this again a nice wash, a nice, um, some pampering, some love, and uh, get her ready for a new owner. Right? So, uh, there's some ASMR coming up, so if you enjoy, please stay tuned. And uh, yeah, still reluctant. <laughs> but you know what they say? You know, life's about you know experiencing new things, and even missing a car is a sort of experience. And uh, that's life, isn't it? Right? Got to make space for new experiences in your life. All right, let's uh, start this video.
Thank mm -hmm. you. 